This video covers sodium channel blockers, also called class 1 antiarrhythmics. The scene takes place in the salty diner, where, as you might imagine, all the food is oversalted. In the back window, you can see a tracing that looks like a cardiac action potential. Sparks are flying from the vertical segment as it blows up. This is the phase zero upstroke that kicks off cardiac contraction. All drugs in this class block the sodium channels, which slows phase zero depolarization. There are three subtypes of drugs that we're going to cover, labeled 1A, 1B, and 1C. Our first customer on the left represents 1A. He's eating a double quarter pounder, which is a mnemonic for the three drugs in this group, disopyramid, quinidine, procainamide. He's tall to remind you that 1A drugs increase the action potential duration. Oddly, he's emptied his pocket contents onto the countertop, some quarters and Q-tips. These represent a notable side effect of quinidine, increased QT interval. This first customer is also a real jerk. He's pounding his fist on the counter to squish a butterfly. His fist pounding is to remind you that procainamide can cause drug-induced lupus, which we often associate with the classic butterfly rash or malar rash, which you can see on his face. On to 1B. Our middle customer is from Mexico and loves everything Mexican. He's wearing a sombrero and is eating a Mexican taco with lots of lettuce. Mexican taco with lettuce is a mnemonic for the drugs in this group. Mexilatine, tocanide, lidocaine. Notice that he's shorter compared to the first customer. That represents that 1B drugs decrease the action potential duration. Notice his arms are weak to represent that 1B weakly inhibits phase zero. It looks like he's grabbing his chest in what might be a heart attack. A test question might present a patient with a recent heart attack who is experiencing an acute arrhythmia. Which antiarrhythmic is the best? Class 1B drugs are your best choice for acute arrhythmia post-MI. Our last customer represents 1C. He is normal height to represent that 1C does not affect action potential duration. Notice he's strong, especially compared to our Mexican friend. This represents that 1C strongly inhibits phase zero. It significantly prolongs the refractory period in the AV node. What drugs are in this group? He's eating a big pile of french fries, and he's raising his hands to ask, More fries, please? The phrase, more fries, please, is a mnemonic for the three drugs in the 1C category, moracizine, flacanide, propafenone. Despite eating all those fries, he appears quite healthy. You only want to give 1C drugs to patients that are otherwise healthy. Heart disease is a contraindication. Notice the party banner along the back wall. It looks like ventricular tachycardia. Any of these can be used to break VTAC.